Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Every reality TV program features carefully produced and altered scenes. But may Cody and Robin Brown have been coerced by TLC into going to the engagement party against their will? Many Sister Wives viewers think Robin and Cody would just rather be left alone. However, the network continues to put the family in awkward circumstances together for the sake of drama and audience. Furthermore, it appears that the other family members are not eager to engage with Cody and Robin. See what other Sister Wives viewers have to say and get the inside scoop by reading on. Robin and Cody Brown don't seem to want to see the other members of the family. Robin Brown and Cody never appear interested in dating, even though she is often pleading with the other members of the Brown family for their attention and involvement. And audiences are beginning to take notice. One Redditor posted on the site, TLC made them do it. Robin and Cody clearly did not want to attend the engagement celebration. We were invited, so I suppose we're going, Robin said with a sneer. TLC did it to increase the drama and suffering and incorporate Cody time. The original poster continued by saying that they don't believe Mary would have informed Robin and Cody that she was leaving. Furthermore, they firmly believe that if TLC hadn't compelled her to move, she never would have contacted Cody for assistance. The contrived drama on this show is becoming so out of control. Everyone despises one another. But Cody and Robin wouldn't even be on the program if TLC didn't force these things to happen. The OP went on. How much longer is this going to drag on? Will this be followed by another season? Fans of Sister Wives express their own opinions. TLC appears to be forcing the family together, according to several Reddit users. The Browns must continue creating content for the show, even though it is obvious that they don't want to spend much time together. Among the remarks made on the Reddit discussion were, TLC will keep fabricating scenes as long as they are profitable. A large audience translates into revenue. Perhaps viewers ought to quit watching. It seems like they weren't at Gwen's for long. Do you believe that Cody and Robin's appearance in every episode is guaranteed by the contract? Because without them, the show would be better. And it's very kind of Robin to just show up at random to make sure the camera caught her crying without offering to help move anything. Do you believe that the family is forced to be together against their will by TLC? Post your own ideas and opinions in the space provided below. In the Sister Wives mid-season teaser, Cody Brown is now stating that this is the end. At last, he has witnessed Mary Brown go and relocate to her bed and breakfast in Utah. Officially, Robin Brown and here the only ones left. However, more changes are coming, and he might not be able to handle them. For further information continue reading. Cody Brown declares, this is it. Cody Brown realized their relationship was ended when Mary Brown formally said she was moving from Flagstaff to Utah. Although he had stated for a long time that they were done, it seemed he did not believe she would actually leave. Furthermore, he stated that he would remain married as long as his wives were alive because he owed them a duty. It was also difficult for him to understand when Janelle Brown revealed that she did not want to make amends. Last but not least, Christine Brown Woolley, his ex-third wife, not only relocated to Utah, but also got engaged. His multiple family and all of his polygamous aspirations have therefore been formally dashed. Cody is shown violently felling a tree in the mid-season teaser. In doing so, he frightens Robin, with whom he subsequently discusses whether this life is sufficient. This is not what I wanted, she says. Cody is also furious that he was not told that Janelle was moving to North Carolina. He feels that he was not intended to discover which is true. He has no influence over what is going on around him. He now believes he does not want to give up his part in Coyote Pass, which his ex-wives also sought. He sees all of his aspirations dashed while grilling on the land with Robin's five children. At that point Cody Brown declares, this is the end, but he doesn't explain what he means. Will his dreams come to an end? The plural family's official demise? Leaving CP behind? Fans respond to the upcoming events. Are Sister Wives viewers surprised by Cody Brown's response after witnessing this? Since he seems to be a constant catastrophist, this is typical of him. The beginning of the end for this family was Robin's arrival. 
The show must end along with the family. For the length of time must we all listen to Cody complain about his marriage, which he ruined, and draw lessons from it? In essence, supporters are tired of Cody always griping about the family's shortcomings, since they believe it was entirely his fault. All they can do is wait to see if he breaks or remains composed. How did you feel about his declaring, this is the end in the trailer? Furthermore, do you believe that Cody is just being dramatic once more? Tell us and tune in to TLC's Sister Wives Sundays. Cody Brown frequently makes mistakes in both his words and actions. He doesn't consider before he says, and he will accuse someone of wronging him if he offends them. A re-released Sister Wives clip shows Cody being utterly indifferent to his kid Dayton's most depressing day. What then did he do to cause him such severe pain? To view the clip and all the details, continue reading. Dayton's saddest day was marked by Cody Brown's callousness. Robin Brown has three children from a previous marriage when Cody Brown first started seeing her. However, Brianna, Aurora, and Dayton were welcomed by his three wives and twelve children. They gave them the impression that they had been a part of the Brown family from the start. For years after Robin and Cody's spiritual marriage, a significant event occurred in 2014. In order to marry Robin, Cody's first and only legal wife Mary Brown filed for divorce. He could then officially adopt her first three children, making them a single contented family. Robin tells her kids, Cody and Mary, that their father has signed the documents in the released Sister Wives clip. Dayton, Robin's eldest child, was horrified to learn that he was ceding his rights to them. Cody sprang with joy at once and wanted everyone else to share his enthusiasm. Dayton was devastated, but her children Aurora and Brianna were appreciative. Cody ignored Dayton's suffering despite seeing his reaction, saying he would go give them a hug because the girls appeared content. Fans were taken aback by Cody Brown's dismissal of Dayton's suffering when this video appeared in a Reddit discussion. Cody just cared about how wonderful his day was, even though he was crying and in need of attention. This was written by the Opie. He doesn't give a damn about what this means to Dayton. He was completely unaware of and indifferent to his emotions. It was heartbreaking to observe. Dayton's anguish about his father's failure to stand up for him is not taken into account. Repulsive conduct. Fans of Sister Wives immediately shared their opinions about Cody Brown's repulsive performance. It was disgusting even if they shouldn't have been shocked. Whoa, it's difficult to see this. Cody acted as though he had won the competition. To be honest, I find this disgusting. His actions here are incredibly egotistical egocentric, and devoid of humanity. How repulsive. Was OH my god mouthed by Dayton? This should never have been broadcast on television. I believe he did. Poor kid, I feel so bad for them. Whoa, I didn't see Dayton's initial response. Without cameras, this should have been done in private. Cody is a self-centered egomaniac. Viewers felt terrible because they missed Dayton's initial reaction, which was something that should never have been broadcast on television. They were even more astounded by Cody's lack of empathy and ignorance of the circumstances. However, by season 19, nothing is unexpected. Do you recall how terrible Cody was to Dayton in this scene? Tell us and tune in to TLC's Sister Wives Sundays. Janelle Brown made a shocking revelation in Sister Wives Season 19 Episode 2. According to Janelle, she had had enough of being polite to her ex-husband. She is fed up with waiting for the patriarch to sort out Cody Brown's life after the reality star left him. In particular, she is more than prepared to move on. Coyote Pass, the family's territory, has long been a source of contention for Janelle, and she's prepared to use all of her might to win. Janelle set down the gauntlet in Sunday's September 22nd Sister Wives episode, telling Christine Brown that she might need to lawyer up. Her position was refreshing to fans who feel that she has a right to what is rightfully hers. Despite the fact that her ex-husband is unable to decide, viewers of Sister Wives were given an intimate glimpse into the inner workings of the polygamous family. Normally private about her feelings, Janelle went on, It's crazy to me that Cody is not taking this more seriously. The first two-acre lot right now is Cody and I. The second two-acre lot is Cody and Robin. The third is a four-acre lot, and it's Mary, myself, and Cody. And then the five-acre lot because Christine quit, is Cody and Robin, the sister-wives star continued, 
outlining the division of Coyote Pass. Janelle values the land because it represents basically the only asset we would be taking from the marriage. Janelle went into further detail about the family problems, saying, I'm going to have to do something with it if Cody isn't willing to buy me out. However, he isn't discussing it with me, and we must pay it off. Even as she made the admission, Janelle appeared worn out by the prospect of a fight. So I think I'm going to have to lawyer up because I think that's the only way I'm ever going to get any kind of decision out of him, she said. I really don't have any legal right to make any kind of claim on Cody's property, she told Christine. For example, we are not legally wed. I can't just phone a lawyer and tell them I need to get a divorce from this individual. No, there isn't a legal marriage which makes things quite difficult. Hopefully, Janelle won't have to wage a battle to receive what she deserves. However, you never know what to expect with Cody. Season 19 of Sister Wives is so finished. The Brown family was in for a lot of ups and downs this season. Season 19, which was filmed in 2022, reveals how Cody and his family handled the fallout from several divorces. With three of his four wives now gone, Cody is officially a monogamist. Mary recently went back to Utah after completing her divorce from Cody. Janelle is enjoying being single. And Christine has moved on with David Woolley. Fans of the long-running franchise expected a lot more drama, however. And they're moaning about the themes being old hat. Future moments are revealed in the most recent Sister Wives preview. TLC posted a teaser of the upcoming season on Instagram with the statement, A family divided. A future uncertain. Tonight at 10 slash 9 C. The Browns tale will continue on hashtag Sister Wives. The video showed Robin complaining that this isn't what she wanted. Cody adamantly throwing his helmet on the ground as he begs Robin to accept him as a monogamist. Janelle pleading with Cody to give his ex-partners what is theirs, and Cody declaring, This is the end of this family. Mary also revealed that she has started dating again. Viewers of Sister Wives voiced their opinions in the Reels comments area, with many criticizing the stale, outdated plot lines. The plots of season 19 of Sister Wives have not wowed viewers at all. This is the most monotonous yet dramatic television program. I can't stop watching, but it's always the same thing, at Speedway Glizzy acknowledged. Others added, LOL yes, and OMG yes, in agreement with the remark. Yawn, another critic stated, all of this is old news. One Instagram user expressed dissatisfaction with the boring plot of season 19 and expressed the desire that, should season 20 be produced, it would highlight events that occurred in the previous six months. Critics of Sister Wives are completely fed up with Christine's plot this season. The romance between Christine and David has played a significant role in the drama this season. Viewers of Sister Wives are following Christine and David's fast-paced romance as they quickly become engaged and purchase a home together. Despite their bout-of-order wedding scenes, Sister Wives viewers have already had enough of these two. Many Sister Wives viewers weren't impressed with the concept of viewing their history in reverse because they had already seen Christine and David's wedding special. Fans of Sister Wives want more behind-the-scenes material. Fans of Sister Wives have frequently expressed their desire to see a spin-off with Christine and or Janelle. Furthermore, fans of Sister Wives might be interested in a spin-off with Mary now that she's gone. Additionally, there have been rumors of a Sister Wives movie in development, although they are currently unfounded. Fans of Sister Wives are obviously sick of the same old thing. Rather, they're prepared for a more in-depth tell-all of some kind, be it a movie, spin-off, or something else entirely. Cody Brown of Sister Wives has long been criticized for his lack of parental involvement. He never cared about the lives of his older children. But it appears that the TLC star's actions have caused his daughter, truly, a great deal of pain. Of the original children, the latter was the youngest. Regretfully, Robin's kids prevented her from ever getting her father's affection and attention. They welcomed their own children after Cody adopted the children of his fourth wife. He nearly forgot about his previous marriages and older children because he was so preoccupied with his new life. In order to concentrate on his favorite wife and her children, the polygamous grew aloof from everyone else. When they witness Cody's bad behavior with Truly, fans are devastated. Why are they criticizing him? With his daughter, what did he do? 
To find out how he has harmed her, continue reading. Sister Wives Christine takes Trulis rights to court with Cody. While her husband was busy dating Robin Brown, Sister Wives star Christine Brown gave birth to her youngest kid, Truly. In order to meet his new lady love, she witnessed him ignoring her and her daughter when they were in the hospital. After more than 20 years of marriage, the TLC actress severed all connections with her polygamous husband. Christine, however, made the decision to stand up for her daughter's rights and requested a paternity test. Due to their polygamous marriage, she was unable to include her ex's name on Truly's birth certificate. As a result, the TLC personality asked the court for support, child custody, parent time, and a paternity test against Cody Brown. In order to prevent her ex from avoiding his obligations, Christine sought the court to set up a visitation plan. As a result of Cody's mistreatment of his daughter, fans are now criticizing him. Sister Wives Supporters criticize Cody for mistreating Truly. Cody Brown, star of Sister Wives, has always desired a large family. There was discord in the family as a result of his declining relationship with his older children. After severing her relationship with her multiple husbands, Christine took Truly Brown, her youngest daughter, with her. She resides in her Utah home with her daughter and new husband. Season 19 recently brought the whole family together under one roof. At Isabel's engagement celebration, Christine introduced her ex-husband to her current boyfriend. Fans, however, took issue with the current episode's disregard for Truly. They saw Cody playing with Robin's kids' soul and heir in it. In order to criticize Cody for not being a decent father to his daughter, a Redditor created a thread. Cody will never care about her like that, the original poster said. Many readers shared this sentiment, feeling sorry for Truly because she didn't get any care from her father. I wanted to punch his face through the TV. Another user believed that Cody had no emotional bond with Robin's children and would treat them the same way once they spoke out against him. One fan commented, This wouldn't even be a question for her if Kitty was any kind of father figure in her life. Furthermore, another user pointed out that Truly's father was preoccupied with his fourth wife which prevented him from giving her his full attention and affection. They have witnessed him disregard his kids throughout the years due to his favorite woman and her kids. Others also hoped that David would provide truly with a father figure. Isabel Brown, the daughter of Sister Wives actress Christine Brown, believes that her connection with David Woolley was too quick. In 2023, over two years after she left her multiple marriage to Cody Brown, Brown and Woolley were married. Christine Brown's relationship with her now husband and how the marriage caused issues in her family are the focus of Sister Wives Season 19, which debuted on September 15, 2024. Isabel Brown and her mother had a heart-to-heart -heart in Sister Wives Season 19, Episode 10. Christine Brown listened to her daughter's worries, but she didn't appear to be concerned about how fast she and Wooly were passing significant relationship milestones. In a TLC Instagram video, Brown explains how the pair moved quickly, saying they began looking for a home two months after meeting and decided they wanted to get married after five weeks of speaking. The fact that the couple met online in early 2023 and that Christine Brown made her new affair public on Valentine's Day of that year is another sign that things are going quickly. That same day, she uploaded pictures of herself and Wooly with her grandchildren on Instagram along with the good news. I finally found the love of my life, David, she captioned the photo. Christine Brown discussed the differences between Wooly and her ex-husband, Cody Brown, in Sister Wives Season 19, Episode 10. The reality personality revealed that her love for Wooly is greater than her love for Cody Brown. In actuality, she has never felt anything like the way she does about her spouse. However, Christine Brown had previously likened Wooly to her ex-husband. Following their engagement, she posted a picture of the two of them on Instagram to show how thrilled she was to marry him. Christine Brown wrote in the caption that Wooly likes spending time with her every day and wasn't pulling tricks on her. Fans believed Christine Brown was hinting that her ex-husband never treated her with the same respect. Even though she didn't specifically criticize Cody Brown for how he treated her, during their nearly 25-year marriage. In October 2024, Brown and Willie celebrated their first wedding anniversary, 
although sister wives is still focusing on their early years together. A year later, Brown revealed that she still feels like she won the lotto with her husband, and she also shared a video of the two of them before their special day. Currently, TLC broadcasts Sister Wives Season 19 every Sunday. Additionally, episodes can be streamed on TLC Go. Cody Brown clears massive loan. What it means for the Sister Wives stars. The drama of Sister Wives often focuses on Cody Brown's fractured relationships and tense family dynamics. But recently, the spotlight has shifted to something different. Finances. Reports reveal that Cody and his wife Robin Brown have paid off a substantial loan following their sale and purchase of property in Flagstaff. While the financial dealings of reality TV stars might not captivate every fan, the story has sparked discussions among Sister Wives viewers about the couple's financial struggles, alleged mismanagement, and the impact on the rest of the Brown family. Cody and Robin's Financial Woes A History of Debt and Real Estate Moves The Move to Flagstaff and Its Consequences the Brown family's decision to relocate from Las Vegas to Flagstaff was controversial from the start. With dreams of building homes on their Coyote Pass property, the move seemed ambitious but quickly turned into a financial quagmire. Between purchasing parcels of land at Coyote Pass and maintaining multiple households, Cody and his wives found themselves burdened with mounting debt. This financial strain only grew as relationships within the family began to crumble leaving Cody and Robin to shoulder the costs. The $2.1 million mansion purchase. In a bold move, Cody and Robin purchased a $2.1 million home in Flagstaff, sparking criticism from fans and speculation about their financial priorities. While some saw the purchase as a necessary step for stability, others questioned why the couple was investing so heavily in real estate when the family's other housing plans were in limbo. Clearing the debt. Cody and Robin pay off a $130,000 loan. A significant milestone. Recent reports from The Sun reveal that Cody and Robin have made significant progress in addressing their debts. The couple reportedly paid off a $130,000 loan from Alaska USA Federal Credit Union, as confirmed by official documentation. This milestone marks a positive turn in their financial journey suggesting that the pair is taking steps to regain control of their finances after years of turbulence. A rare victory for Cody and Robin, despite the ongoing drama surrounding their relationships and family dynamics, this financial achievement represents a rare win for Cody and Robin. However, not all fans are celebrating the news. Fan reactions, divided opinions on Cody and Robin's financial moves, criticism and indifference, the reaction from Sister Wives fans has been mixed, with many expressing little interest in the couple's financial situation. Who cares? One commenter wrote on Instagram, echoing the sentiment of many viewers who feel detached from the Browns' real estate dealings. Another called the couple shameful clowns, criticizing their spending habits and perceived favoritism toward Robin. A surprising supporter. Amid the criticism, one fan stood up in defense of Cody and Robin, stating, good for them. I'm tired of the ex-wives blaming them for all their mistakes. This comment sparked debate among fans, though it didn't gain much traction. The rare show of support highlights the polarizing nature of the Brown family's story. The bigger picture. What does this mean for the Brown family? A glimmer of stability? Paying off a significant loan could be a step toward financial stability for Cody and Robin. With their home secured and some debts cleared, the couple may be in a better position to focus on other priorities, such as completing the long-delayed Coyote Pass project. Impact on family dynamics. However, the financial divide between Cody and Robin and his ex-wives, Christine, Janelle and Mary, remains a sore spot. Many fans believe that Cody has prioritized Robin's comfort over the well-being of his other children and former partners, exacerbating tensions within the family. Fan theories and speculation. What's next for Cody and Robin? Selling the Coyote Pass property. Some fans speculate that Cody and Robin might sell the Coyote Pass land to free themselves from additional financial burdens. A move to Utah. Given recent sightings of the couple in Utah, others believe they may be planning to leave Flagstaff altogether. Further debt payments. Clearing this loan could be the first step in a broader effort to address their financial struggles. 
A shift in public perception? While paying off debts is undoubtedly a positive development, it's unlikely to win over critics who see Cody and Robin as the architects of the family's downfall. The couple's next moves will be crucial in shaping their public image and determining the future of their relationship. Conclusion A family at a crossroads. The news of Cody and Robin Brown paying off a substantial loan marks a turning point in their financial journey. While it's a step in the right direction, the couple still faces significant challenges, both financially and emotionally. As Sister Wives continues to unfold, fans remain divided over Cody and Robin's choices and their impact on the Brown family. Whether this debt clearance signifies a new beginning or just a brief respite in the ongoing drama, one thing is certain. The Brown story is far from over. Stay tuned for more updates on Sister Wives and the ever-evolving dynamics of Cody Brown's family. Sister Wives Bombshell Cody Brown's financial moves raise eyebrows amid child custody battle. Cody Brown, the central figure of TLC's Sister Wives, has been navigating significant life changes in recent years. Once the face of a polygamous family, Cody's relationships have unraveled, leaving him as a monogamist with Robin Brown as his only remaining wife. While he juggles shifting family dynamics, Cody is also making headlines for his extravagant spending habits. Even as he faces a legal battle with ex-wife Christine Brown over child custody and support, with the drama intensifying both on and off screen, fans are left wondering, is Cody Brown prioritizing luxury over his responsibilities? Let's dive into the latest Sister Wives spoilers and break down the financial chaos, family fallout, and lingering questions about Truly's custody case. Sister Wives Spoilers Christine Brown Takes Cody to Court A History of Caregiving Christine Brown has long been recognized as the primary caregiver within the Brown family, not only for her six children with Cody, but also for some of the other children. However, since their 2021 split, Christine has been vocal about the lack of financial and emotional support she's received from Cody, particularly for their youngest child, Truly. Child Support Battle Proving paternity. As part of her legal battle, Christine is suing Cody for back child support for Truly. Complicating matters. Truly's birth certificate reportedly doesn't include Cody's name, forcing Christine to establish paternity in court before any financial obligations can be enforced. With Cody's net worth estimated at $800,000 for 2024 and Christine's at $400,000, legal experts predict Cody will likely owe significant child support payments if Christine wins her case. Cody's financial splurge, a plot to evade child support? The $1.7 million Flagstaff home sale. In a surprising turn, Cody and Robin recently sold their Flagstaff home for a whopping $1,775,000. Purchased in 2019 for $890,000, the sale marked a significant profit for the couple. However, the timing raised eyebrows. Why did they sell the home now? Amidst ongoing financial disputes and legal battles, a new $2.1 million home purchase. Shortly after the sale, Cody and Robin purchased a lavish $2.1 million home in Flagstaff. The sprawling property boasts six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a guest house, and a seven-car garage. To secure the home, they made a $420,000 down payment and financed the rest with a $1,680,000 loan. Fans are speculating whether this purchase is a strategic move to shift assets and complicate Christine's child support case. Loan repayment sparks more questions. Adding to the intrigue, Cody and Robin recently paid off a $130,000 home equity line of credit. While this financial milestone might seem positive, critics argue that it underscores Cody's ability to meet financial obligations raising questions about why he hasn't supported Truly. Fans react. Outrage over Cody's spending. The Brown family's financial dealings have sparked heated discussions among fans. How can Cody justify spending millions on luxury homes while claiming he can't afford child support? One fan asked on social media. Another added, This is a slap in the face to Christine and all the other ex-wives who sacrificed so much for him. Some fans believe Cody's spending habits could backfire in court, as they seemingly contradict his claims of financial hardship. What about Truly? 
Christine's life with Truly. Since leaving Cody, Christine has built a new life in Utah, where she shares joyous moments with Truly and her new husband, David Woolley. Photos and videos of their adventures, trail riding, vacations, and family outings paint a stark contrast to Cody's distant relationship with his youngest daughter. Custody Battle Outlook Legal experts suggest that Christine's strong case as Truly's primary caregiver, combined with Cody's apparent financial resources, could work in her favor in court. The Bigger Picture Cody's Evolving Legacy Cody Brown's transition from a polygamous patriarch to a monogamous facing fractured relationships has been anything but smooth. Once seen as the glue holding his plural family together, Cody is now viewed by many as the source of its unraveling. The fallout from COVID-19. The pandemic exposed cracks in the Brown family's dynamic, with Cody's strict protocols creating divisions among his wives and children. Relationships that were already strained reached a breaking point, leading to separations and divorces. Is Cody losing fans' support? While Cody has always been a polarizing figure, his recent actions, extravagant spending, perceived favoritism toward Robin, and strained relationships with his children, have alienated even longtime supporters. What's next for Cody Brown and sister wives? As Cody navigates legal battles, financial scrutiny, and shifting family dynamics, fans are left wondering what the future holds for the sister wives patriarch. Will Cody be held accountable for back child support? Can Christine secure full custody of Truly? How will Cody's financial decisions impact his reputation and relationships? With the drama far from over, one thing is clear. Cody Brown's story continues to captivate and frustrate audiences.